Ugh, what's this? What's wrong? Yeah, come on, eat it! You're so stubborn, Allie. I'm Allie. Today I was visiting my husband's parents. We ordered some sushi for dinner. They got the special plates, but all I got was some cheap tuna rolls. You said you loved them. That's why I got it for you. You're so nice, Mom. Say thank you, Allie. That's Katie, my sister-in-law. I had no choice but to eat. And I do like tuna rolls, so... But a few bites later, I felt a sharp pain in my mouth and threw up. The roll was packed with wasabi and Tabasco. I was coughing like crazy. <laughs> I drank some tea and finally I stopped coughing. <coughs> Why would you? <coughs> what? I didn't do anything. Look what you did to the food. Why did you do that? Apologize to her! I asked my husband for help, but... The people at the restaurant probably messed up. That's all he said. He was always like this. His mom and sister always picked on me. Once, I asked Katie why they were so mean to me. She told me, I hate you because you took Bob away from us. Plus, you're at our house. We can do whatever we want. I'm kind of used to it by now. Sometimes I stand up for myself and fight back. But in the beginning, it was hell. Shovel the snow. It's the least you can do. Uh, okay. Can you teach me how? I've never done this before. Just use your brain and think for once. So cold. Let's go inside, Mom. Sounds good. Get it done, okay? And they just left me in the snow like this. The neighbor was nice enough to teach me. It took me hours to shovel the driveway. After I was done, they made me cook dinner. I barely had time to sit down that day. Meanwhile, my husband was in the living room sleeping. He didn't care about me at all. I hated his mom and sister, so every time he wanted to visit them, I refused. When I did that, they called me up and said all kinds of mean things to me, but I ignored them. But then, something really bad happened. My husband got transferred, and we had to move into the same neighborhood as them. Their house is only five minutes away by car. Now, they call me every time they need someone to do errands for them. When I try to ignore them, they just come into my house and order me around. Hey, this is a great opportunity for all of us. Try and get to know them better, okay? They're my family, so if you refuse, you know I can get a divorce and just leave you. The thing is, I had to quit my job when we moved out here. Plus, my parents lived abroad, so if he divorced me, I'd have nowhere to go. So I decided to compromise and listen to them every once in a while. But they weren't happy about this. Come, eat dinner with us! We got sushi! They got me good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I used to love tuna rolls, but not anymore. Thanks to them. They did this on purpose! Why would the chef put Tabasco in tuna rolls? Even if that's true, it's probably your fault. Clearly, you upset them somehow. You've been blowing them off recently, right? They told me about you! Seriously? They told me to mow the entire backyard by myself and to go buy huge bags of flowers from the store. How am I supposed to do that, huh? And I recently started working from home too, so I'm busy! <sighs> See? All you do is make excuses. That's why they're frustrated with you. Listen, they told me that they think of you as part of the family. That's why they're so hard on you. Trust me, they really care about you. If you can't understand that, well then, I'm just gonna have to leave you. Think about that. Then, he took out divorce papers. Seriously? I mean it. So just stop whining and do your part. I still had feelings for him. I didn't want to get a divorce. 
After that, his mom kept calling me making ridiculous demands. Usually I ignored her, but remembered what my husband said about the divorce. So, I had no choice but to listen to her. Then, things got worse from there. Blair came up to me with a smile on her face and said, Hey, Allie, how much money do you have in your savings account? Not Bob's, but your account. How much? Uh, around 20,000, I think. Oh, okay. Can I have it then? Katie is seeing someone right now and, well, she needs some new clothes, so help us out here. What? No! My mother gave me that money when I got married. She's been saving it up all these years for me. It's for emergencies only. This is an emergency. It's for Katie. Bring me the money. If not, I'll go do it and get it myself. Oh, hell no. I hid my passbook and took it with me wherever I went. But then she called my husband, got him to steal the passbook from my purse while I was asleep, and tried to steal the money. What's your passcode? I tried everything, but I can't figure it out. Huh? What? Wait. No, my passbook. After I got the call, I checked my bag. My husband replaced my passbook with his old one. Unbelievable! Good thing I changed my password frequently. My money was safe. Still, I couldn't believe them. They're not getting away with this. I decided to take action. For starters, I made a phone call. Hey, Allie, what's your passcode? Tell me. Bob said it was his birthday, but I couldn't unlock it. Ugh, I'm thirsty from all the yelling. Get me some tea. You're so useless. Hurry up. I was back at her house. She looked furious. She can't even make tea for herself? But today was a special day. I decided to obey her. Why? Simple. <coughs> Ugh, what's this? Vinegar. I saw it on TV. It's good for you. At least I didn't use wasabi like you did. Are you kidding me? She came charging at me. But then she saw who I was with. She stopped and went silent. Helen, is that you? Long time no see, Blair. It was Blair's husband's mother. In other words, her mother-in-law. After Blair's husband passed away, they didn't keep in touch. Helen seemed really happy to see her though, but not Blair. She was turning blue. I heard this from my husband. Apparently they hate each other. Back in the days, Helen was really strict on Blair. The only time I saw Helen was at my wedding. We both liked embroidery. We got along really well. We made things for each other and sent them as gifts from time to time. When I called her for help, she came right away. She told me everything you did to her. How dare you? Ellie, what did you tell her? I just told her the truth. Like how you made me shovel the snow by myself for hours? How you made me mow the lawn during the day in summer? How you spiked my tuna roll with Tabasco and wasabi? How you stole my DVDs and sold them online? And of course, how you tried to steal my savings. Ellie, what have you done? Look who's talking, Blair. You've always been like this. You always took shortcuts. I should have taught you better. It's not too late. You're coming with me. You said it yourself. It's your duty as a housewife. Now, come with me. Ugh. She tried to fight back, but Helen was in pretty good shape. She had a farm, so she was pretty strong. Blair, on the other hand, was fat and weak. Helen had no trouble dragging her to the car. Then Helen came back for Katie. Why me? Allie, help me! Stop harassing her. That's why you're still single and out of a job. You're coming with me too. A few days later, Katie sent me a text saying, I'm gonna die if I stay here. But I ignored her. Helen later told me that they work 12 hours a day on her farm. Neither of them have a driver's license and Helen lived in the middle of nowhere, so they couldn't go anywhere. 
Oh, and as for my husband... Ali, I'm so sorry. I had a long talk with Grandma. Please forgive me. I promise I'll be a better husband from now on. <laughs> I told them if they were going to keep going like this, I wasn't going to leave them any inheritance. Maybe that got to them. <laughs> Helen called me a few days later. I guess she really got to my husband. After that, my husband became a changed man. He told his mom and sister to stop calling me altogether. Plus, he submitted a request to be transferred away from his mother's house. We'll be moving out in two months. Oh, and Helen sent me a picture of Blair and Katie. They were really tan. Plus, they looked stronger. But they looked exhausted. Honestly, though, I really enjoyed seeing them like that. Take that, jerks! I hope to never have to see them again. Katie, I'm gonna leave the bottle here. What the? Look at this bruise! What happened? Nothing. I just fell off my bike. No worries. <laughs> I'm Allie. I'm 25. This is my sister Katie. She got married four years ago. She got married to this guy named Alex. His family owned a local business. He was going to be the next company president. He was from a very wealthy family. He went to one of the best schools in the country. He seemed like a very decent guy, so I was happy for her when she told me that she was getting married. After they got married, they had kids too. Katie seemed really happy, so I was happy too. But last year, she told me that Alex's company wasn't doing so well. She said he always came home in a bad mood. I was kind of worried. If you need anything, just ask, okay? Mom and Dad are worried about you too. Thanks, we're fine though. But then, she stopped picking up my calls after that. She stopped responding to my texts too. But when I went to see her, everything seemed fine, so I just thought she was busy or something. But one night, when my sister came over to our house for family dinner, I saw her bruises. It was all over her body. Did Alex do that to you? No, no. I fell, that's it. Okay? Please, Allie, just don't say anything. But... What's going on? You okay? Oh no. He's coming. Just keep quiet about this, okay? What was I supposed to do? For the time being, I decided to keep quiet. What's wrong, Allie? You get in a fight with Katie? Ah, it's nothing. Uh, uh, she said she saw a cockroach, so I came to help. Yeah, I thought I saw it, but maybe it was just in my mind? <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh, okay. If you need anything, just ask, okay? Thanks, Alex. I tried talking to her, but Alex was next to her the entire time. I couldn't talk to her that night. Come back anytime. Travel safe. See you at New Year's. Thank you for everything. Bye. Bye, Aunt Allie. I'll miss you. Yeah, me too. Bye. Hey, Katie, about yesterday. He checks my phone. All calls get transferred to him. She whispered into my ears right before she left. Then, I looked at Alex. He was giving her a dirty look. I knew it. Alex is beating her at home. I told my parents about this right away. They were shocked. Dad wanted to confront him, but he did martial arts, so things would most likely get out of hands. I'll go first. I'm gonna try talking to her alone and see what I can do. I went over to their house the next day and waited for him to leave for work. She seemed surprised, but she realized why I was here right away. Katie, let's go to the hospital right now and get a doctor's note. Please, come home. Don't stay here another second. I already talked to mom and dad. They said it would be okay. But I just can't leave him. His business is going under and I gotta be there for him. Are you serious right now? Look at all those bruises. Come on, Katie, wake up. But it's my fault. It's my fault for being a useless wife. It's my fault. What are you saying? Look at this house. It's so clean and you cook for him every day, right? And look at your daughter. You're doing a fantastic job at raising her. You're not useless. You're being brainwashed, Katie. Wake up. But he needs me. He only hits me because he loves me and... 
Then, answer me this. What if you die tomorrow? Who do you think he'll go after next? Huh? Your daughter. He'll go after your daughter next. You'll be okay with that? Think about it. You gotta decide right here, right now. For your daughter's sake. Please, Katie. Come home with me, please. Then, she finally broke. She started crying. I took her to the hospital, got a doctor's note, and brought her back here to the house. When my parents saw the bruises, they started crying too. The next day, we headed over to his house again. Katie, you home? Where the hell have you been, you... What the... Allie? Why are you here? Where's Katie? Hey, Alex. Katie isn't feeling well, so my mom's taking care of her. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry. I had no idea. He was playing the good husband. Maybe he thinks he can lie his way out of this. Jerk. But he was a good actor. If I hadn't seen the bruises, I probably would have believed him. Katie asked me to come over here and help around the house. I made you dinner. Here, eat up. This is amazing! Katie is an amazing chef too, but this is incredible! Sorry to trouble you like this. No worries, we're family. You're so considerate. I wish Katie was more like you. I think Katie is doing a fantastic job. These days, yeah, but in the beginning, she always talked back to me and stuff, so... I had to teach her a few things. Then, I started getting him drunk. He couldn't really hold his liquor, but I just kept pouring drinks for him, one after the other. He was wasted in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> Katie used to be so tough when we were kids. She changed so much. What did you do to her, Alex? What's your secret? Uh, it's nothing. But yeah, she came a long way. It took me a while, but yeah. She does everything I tell her, and she never talks back to me now, so... So it, it wasn't easy, but it was worth it. I see. What did you do to her? You didn't hit her, did you? Huh? Uh, of course I hit her! That's the only way to teach someone a lesson! Dogs, cats, horses, bears... You gotta teach them who's in control, you know what I'm saying? Pain is the best way to teach someone. You wanna see? I could show you if you want. Katie told me you couldn't hold your liquor, but wow. I can't believe you just said that. Didn't think it would be this easy. Oh, Katie, you have a horrible taste in men. What was that? How dare you talk to me like that? What? You're a horrible man. I despise people like you. I got everything I need on tape. I'm gonna go now. Wait, come back here. You're supposed to fill in for her, right? Come back now. Pour me my drink. Do as I say, or I'll... Shut the hell up. Drink by yourself, maggot. Ah! My dad was hiding in the room next door. He came jumping out. Then he threw him across the room. Alex was knocked out cold. We left him there and went home. I played the recording in front of Katie. She broke down and started crying. After, we sent the doctor's note and his confession tape to the company. If you don't want this to go public, get a divorce. Needless to say, you'll pay her for all the damages and pay child support. Shut the hell up! I'm working here! You don't work, so you just don't understand! It's really stressful! What's wrong with beating my wife anyways? She's my wife! Ugh! My dad struck again. He got knocked out cold. Afterwards, Alex's dad agreed to our terms and paid us in full. The divorce was final. I'm terribly sorry for everything. I was gonna give him my company, but after all this, I better start looking for another candidate. I wish I could fire him, but he's in debt to me now, so I'm gonna keep making him work here. Sounds fine. He's not family anymore, so frankly we don't care what you do with him. Are you serious? You little- Shut up already! He got knocked out again. Later, I heard he got transferred to a dead-end position in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> his dad appointed his cousin as the next CEO. Alex was finished. You guys ruined my life! Dad takes most of my money every month! I only get $300 a month! What the hell?! He texted her a few times after that, but she just blocked him. We're all one big happy family. Finally, peace at last. I'm Allie, a 32-year-old housewife. I have a daughter named Katie. She's three years old. Mommy, I'm hungry. Let's eat. 
Give me a minute, okay? I'll make you something right away. Yay! I know, I'll help. Really? Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah? Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> she might look healthy, but actually, her immune system is very weak. She gets sick all the time. It really hurts me to see her like that. I wish I could do something for her. Hey, Daddy! Huh? Ah, oh, hey. Hey! You look tired, Daddy. Want me to give you a massage? <laughs> You're so cute! I'm tired. I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed. Okay. Can you stay up a little bit? Listen, I've had a long day. I don't get to stay home all day like you. You look after her. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay. Recently, my husband's been in a bad mood. He comes home late almost every day. Work must be really tough. The next day, Katie got sick. You okay, dear? Just try to get some rest, okay? Yeah... I hope I feel better tomorrow. I'm sure you'll be fine. Don't worry. Get some rest, okay? Okay, I will. Good girl. Want anything to drink? Uh, apple juice, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Then, my husband came home. Hey. Hey there. Hey, listen. Katie got sick today. I had to take care of her all day, so I couldn't go to the grocery store. Can you order some pizza or something for dinner? Seriously? Pizza? What were you doing all day? I told you, Katie got sick. You couldn't even go to the grocery store? I can't just leave her alone. The store is right around the corner. It's not a big deal. You're too protective of her. Seriously? You were there when the doctor explained her condition to us, right? She's got a weak immune system. Even a simple cold can be fatal. I can't just leave her alone like that. Are you gonna lecture me now? You can't even cook dinner for your husband. Oh, forget this. I'm gonna go out and get something to eat. What? Then he walked out of the house. Is this my fault? What was I supposed to do next? The next day, Katie was still feeling sick. Uh, can I play outside today, Mommy? Hmm, maybe not today. You still got fever, dear. Okay... You'll be fine in no time. No worries. Um, I'm sorry. For what? You have to stay home all day because of me. Not at all. I like spending time with you, Katie. I love hanging out with you like this, Katie. It was Saturday. My husband usually works on Saturdays too, but he was home today. Looks like he was in a better mood today. Phew. Hey! Yeah? I'm cleaning the house. Help me. What? Now? Yes, now. The house is a mess because of you. I'm trying to help you here. Uh, I'm doing my best. What was that? Nothing. I didn't want to make him angry again. I decided to keep quiet. I know. Let's ask Katie to help us, too. She's always sleeping. She should help around the house. Then, he started walking towards her room. Hey, stop! She's sick right now. She's fine. Come on, Katie. Get up. We gotta clean the house. Uh, Daddy? Then, he pulled her out of bed. I told you she's sick! Let her rest! You're too protective of her. That's why she's so weak. Come on, Katie. Time to clean the house. Work. Work. Uh, Katie! Katie fell to the floor. Katie, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I gotta help Daddy. It's okay. You just rest, okay? She's so useless. What did you say? 
I said she's useless. She's your daughter. How can you say that? It's your fault. You're the one that gave birth to her. Are you serious right now? Then he ran out of the house. Mommy, am I useless? No, Katie. Absolutely not. You mean the world to me, Katie. Daddy is just tired. He didn't mean that. Don't listen to him, okay? Okay. I feel kind of sad, though. I'm feeling sleepy. Go on, dear. Rest up. Good night. Good night. Then she fell asleep. He called her useless. What's wrong with him? I can't let him get away with this. That night, he came home late again. Hey, what's your problem? Why did you say that to Katie? What? I just told her the truth. Hey, wash this for me. I'm going to bed. He threw his shirt at me. He went into the bedroom and fell asleep. Why should I do anything for him? I threw his shirt onto the floor. Then, something fell out of his pocket. It was a piece of paper. What's this? It was a member's card for a motel. So that's where he was today. It's pretty obvious. I got him now. I went to a detective agency the next day. A week later, I got the results. He was cheating on me, all right. He was seeing his boss's daughter. Seriously? He's unbelievable. He's gonna pay for this. Next Saturday, I invited someone over to the house. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Thank you for coming today. Of course. Boss? Your wife asked me to come over. She said she had something really important to tell us. I asked her to come to the company, but I heard Katie was sick. So I decided to come over. Hope you don't mind. Okay. So, what's all this about? Could you look at this picture? It was a picture of my husband and Mr. Johnson's daughter going into a motel together. Huh? Is that my daughter you're with? What is this? What? Where did you get that? I found a member's card in your jacket the other day, so I hired a detective agency to look into it. Ugh! Explain yourself! Well, uh... Uh... Say no more. The picture speaks for itself. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. You have a wife and a child. What's wrong with you? And my daughter, too. Shame on her. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to your wife. I'm so sorry about my daughter. I'll have a talk with her. We'll pay you for all the damages. What do you plan to do with your husband? I'm getting a divorce. There's no doubt about that. So if you want, you can fire him. Go ahead. I understand. I will report this to HR. Wait, no! Please! I better get going then. Excuse me. Sir! My husband was crying, but Mr. Johnson ignored him and left the house. It's all your fault! You're the one who betrayed us. You're so useless, and so is Katie. That's why I started fooling around with other women. Seriously? Katie is not useless. You're the useless one here. Sign the divorce papers, pay me the damages, and get out of my life. Damages? Ah, uh, wait, hold on. Look, I'm probably gonna get fired, so can we work something out? Not my problem. Oh, and let's not forget about child support. What? Then he lost his job. He had to take out a huge loan to pay me for damages and child support. Who knows what he's up to these days? The other day, I saw him in a dumpster looking through trash bags after everything he did to us. Good riddance. As for Katie... Mommy, my shoes are too small. Oh, you're growing up! Let's go get you a new pair! Yay! 
I can't wait to go out with my new shoes! Me neither. Where do you want to go? I'll take you anywhere you want me to. Hey, Katie? Yeah? You know I love you very much, right? <laughs> I love you too, Mommy. Her immune system might be weaker than others, but that doesn't mean she can't go out there and live her life. I'm gonna do everything I can to protect her. I'm Amanda, a 28-year-old office worker. I'm looking for a boyfriend that I could get married to someday. But where are all the men out there? I save up money to use for my wedding someday. Amanda, when are you going to get married? It's always so embarrassing when my neighbors ask me about you. Do something about that. You know your sister is embarrassed about you because you're having such a hard time finding a husband, right? My parents call me almost every day to nag me about it. They weren't like this before. They all changed when my sister Karen got married. She married the heir of a pretty big company and was guaranteed a nice future. Hey, Dad! Hey, Mom! I'm home! Oh, nice to see you, honey. I'm so happy to see you too, Karen. You guys always see me, though. Oh, I bought this delicious melon for you. Let me go cut it up for you. Oh, that looks so good. Can I have some? Oh, you were here too, Amanda? No, this is all. We don't have enough for pathetic single girls. Ugh, why did we even have you? Karen would have been enough. It's unbelievable how you guys could have the same genes. You're such a failure, Amanda. You've always sucked at everything, Amanda. You should just go marry a street bum. <laughs> just your type, right? Good point. You're such a good daughter, Karen. Look at that man you married. You guys even took us to Europe the other day. Ugh, can't someone just take you off of our hands? Let's go again sometime soon. Oh, that would be wonderful. Ever since Karen married that rich guy, my parents had fallen in love with her, and they all treated me like I was inferior. Karen's husband Brody took my parents on vacations all the time. I guess, compared to that, I really haven't done much for them. But still, don't you think it's pretty mean to be so blatant about it? Around that time, I met a guy. His name was Thomas. I met him at a bar that I went to once in a while. He wasn't especially handsome or flashy, but we hit it off very well, and we started going out for food together now and then. On our fifth date... Amanda, will you be my girlfriend? Oh, really? Are you sure? Thomas asked me out, and we became a couple. We got along well, and everything was going smoothly. Maybe this is the man that I'm going to marry. Are you still single? I'm done even hoping. Well, Karen will have a grandchild for us sooner or later, so let's just give up on Amanda. I actually have a boyfriend now. What? You heard me. I have a boyfriend now, and he's a wonderful guy, too. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised that there was someone willing to have you. Are you sure you aren't just being delusional? I'm not being delusional at all. All right, then. Bring him over. This will be interesting. I'll invite Karen that day, too. Fine! The big day. We met up at the train station near my parents' house and headed over. My parents, Karen and Brody, were all supposed to be waiting for us when we got there. Sorry about this, Thomas. I hope none of them are rude to you. It'll be fine. I've wanted to meet your family, too. I was a bit nervous as we walked toward the house. Here we are, Mom. This is my boyfriend, Thomas. Nice to meet you, ma'am. My name is Thomas. I'm dating Amanda currently. <laughs> huh? What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Come in, you two. Amanda's boyfriend is here, you guys. Look at his shaggy face. It made me laugh. You're right. Just as we expected, right? What a perfect match for you, Amanda. You look so poor. That's hilarious. What the hell, you guys? That's so rude to Thomas. Make fun of me all you want, but leave Thomas out of it. Brody was quiet until then, but he finally spoke. So, what do you do, Thomas? Uh, all kinds of things, I guess. Uh, now that I think about it, I hadn't heard much about Thomas's work. Whenever I did ask, he never really gave me a clear answer. 
What the hell does that mean? Is that supposed to be like your cool answer? It's not. I bet you just have a couple part-time jobs or something, right? I guess. Wow, what a big difference between you and Brody. Brody is that son of the president of Gossip Company. Did you know that? You even have bad luck with men, don't you, Amanda? I'm yet to find a strong point for you. <laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't accidentally marry you. I don't think that even an accident would have made that happen. She lives in a different plane of reality than us. <laughs> They continued to insult both of us for a while. I've had... Enough! It was my mistake to introduce you to these bullies in the first place, Thomas. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I'm so sorry for everything, Thomas. I didn't expect it to be that bad. It's fine. I'm used to people being mean to me. I feel so bad. You must hate me for having such a terrible family, don't you? No. They don't matter. I like you for who you are, Amanda. I'm not dating you because of your family. Thanks. But that was pretty annoying how they made fun of you. A week passed since that incident, and I got a call from my mother. She's got some nerve calling after all that. What? Amanda, things are getting out of hand because of you. Huh? What do you mean? Just come over right now and make sure you bring Thomas with you. She seemed to be panicking, so I got Thomas and we headed over. When we walked in... Thomas, we're so sorry for being so rude to you last week. They were all on their knees. I was confused at the entire situation when Thomas spoke. It's not just me that you owe an apology to. You guys were so mean to Amanda, too. Amanda, we're sorry. Forgive us, please. Wait, what the hell is going on? One of our biggest partners have said that they were going to stop doing business with us. So what? How does this have anything to do with this situation? That company? Thomas owns that company. I found out when my father told me about it. My father cut ties with me, saying that if he threw me under the bus, he might be able to save the situation. Huh? You were a business owner, Thomas? Yeah, sorry. I run a couple companies, so it was complicated to explain. So I never went into detail. I was so rude without even knowing that Thomas was one of our biggest partners. Will you please forgive me, sir? I don't know. I don't really feel like forgiving people that were mean to my girlfriend. What do you think, Amanda? Please, Amanda, we're family, right? After insulting me for so long, now you're begging for forgiveness? You guys insulted Thomas, too. No way I'm forgiving you. See ya. They all continued to yell at us from behind, but we just ignored them and walked away. Are you sure about what you said back there? Yeah, thanks to you, I was able to get a lot off my chest. So, what happened to them after that? Brody was fired, disowned by his father, and was completely broke. Everyone expected him to have a little saved up at least, but he was the type that spent every last penny of his salary every month, so he didn't really have any kind of money saved. My parents and Karen all used their credit cards to their limits, counting on Brody's money. So now they were just left with a bunch of debt. They continued to borrow money to manage their expenses and ended up having their house seized and currently live together in a tiny one-bedroom apartment. Too bad for them. As for us, we continued to nurture our relationship and we got married. I didn't plan on inviting my family to our wedding anyways, so we decided to have a private wedding in Hawaii. I'm so happy to marry you, Thomas. Yeah, me too, Amanda. I'm Allison, a 28-year-old office worker. I have some good news for you all. I'm getting married soon. Let me take you back three months. My boyfriend, Theo, was celebrating my birthday with me at a very nice restaurant. Here's a present for you. Huh? What's this? Open it up. What? A ring? Allison, will you marry me? I promise to make you happy. Oh my, yes. Yes, Theo. That's how it happened, and now I'm engaged. 
Where do you think we should get married? What do you think about Hawaii? Oh, but before we start choosing venues, we better go meet each other's parents. Yeah, you're right. Can you ask your parents when they have time? Yeah, sure. You ask your parents too, Theo. My mother was busy, so we went to see Theo's parents first. Nice to meet you. My name is Allison. Nice to meet you too. You can relax, all right? Yeah, take it easy. So, Theo, you wanted to tell us something? I'm getting married to Allison. Thank you for letting me be a part of your family. Oh, congratulations, you two! You're finally getting married, eh, Theo? Let's celebrate then. Let's order some sushi, honey. Yeah, let's order some expensive sushi tonight. I'm so glad his parents seem like nice folk. I was nervous, but they treated me with respect, and I was very grateful. Eat up, Allison. Thank you, sir. If Theo ever causes you any problems, you tell us right away, okay? The initial meeting and dinner went very well. A few days later, I got a call from my mother. I'm free next Sunday, but are you two free that day? Yeah, that'll be perfect. Great, I'm excited to meet Theo. Yeah, you'll love him, Mom. I'll prepare something for you guys, so make sure you make enough time for dinner. Yay, it's been so long since I've had your food. My mom says that she can meet next Sunday. You're free that day too, right? Yeah, I'm so nervous. Nothing to worry about. My mom is going to love you, Theo. How about your dad? Is he going to be there too? Oh, did I not tell you? I was raised by my mother. My father passed away when I was still small. Huh? Oh, you never told me. Oh, uh, my bad. I have to go home. Huh? Theo had a scary look on his face unlike anything I'd seen before. He left so I had no choice but to go home too. I wonder what Theo's problem was. That's when I got a call from him. Can you come over to my parents' house tomorrow? Oh, why so sudden? Just come. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait! That's all he said before he hung up on me. I sent him a text, but although it got marked as red, he didn't write back. So the next day after work, I went over to Theo's parents' house. Theo showed me to the living room where his parents sat there with stern looks on their faces. Good evening. Thank you for the other night. They completely ignored my greeting. What's going on? Let me cut to the chase. I want to cancel our marriage. Huh? Wh what do you mean? Tell me why! Because you come from a single parent family, Allison. How is that relevant? Don't play dumb, Allison. Oh, in here I thought you were such a nice girl. What are you guys talking about? I can't marry someone from a single mother family. You're poor, aren't you? You were trying to marry Theo for our money, right? I see right through you poor people. You almost had us fooled there. Theo's father owned a fairly big company. Theo worked at his father's company as well. It was true that Theo's family was wealthy, but that had nothing to do with why I wanted to marry him. It has nothing to do with money, and our family isn't poor. I love you, Theo. Yeah, right. Lies, lies, lies. No matter what you say, I'm calling this off. Yeah, we don't approve of Theo marrying some poor girl. Huh? You don't have to prepare coffee for this girl. Oh, I'm sure she barely ever gets to drink some. Here you go. Ah! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> nice one, Mom. They poured coffee over my head and kicked me out of their house. Jeez, what the hell? <laughs> they just canceled the marriage on me, and I had absolutely no say in it. What's wrong with being raised by my mother? Why would they assume that we were poor? I went back to my apartment room and cried alone for a while. As I was crying, my phone rang. So this Sunday, I was thinking about cooking something nice for Theo, but is there anything that he likes? I don't know. How do you not know? Wait, are you crying? Yeah, I just got dumped. What? I thought you guys were coming over on Sunday to tell me you guys were going to get married or something. 
Yeah, that was the plan. But as soon as they found out that I came from a single parent family, they started accusing me that I was just trying to get married for the money and called me poor. And he canceled the marriage on me. That's terrible. What did his parents say? They were all in on it. They said that they wouldn't approve of their son getting married to a poor girl and they poured coffee over my head. Unbelievable. Theo's father, he's the president of the gossip company, right? Yeah, I think so. I'll show him what happens when you mess with my beloved daughter. Huh? What are you planning on doing? Don't worry about it. You leave this up to me. A few days later, I received a text message from my mother. It's time. Huh? Time for what? Time for me to meet Theo's parents. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make them regret everything. Huh? Just send this recording to Theo first. I hadn't contacted Theo since our last meeting, but I did as I was told. What do you want? We're not getting married, all right? That's not what this is about. My mother says she wants to meet your parents. Why? No way. I don't know either, and here, I don't know what this is, but my mother told me to send it to you. So, I sent Theo the audio that my mother gave me. Huh? What the hell? Why do you have this? I told you, I don't know. I want to meet your mother too. Let's meet Sunday. I wonder why he wants to meet her all of a sudden. I got curious, so I listened to the recording that my mother gave me, and I understood immediately. Finally, the big day. So, I'm sure you heard the recording already. Yes, ma'am. We have. Is there any way that you can keep this on the down low? Hey, why are you two being so weak against these poor people? Shall I bring some coffee? Shut up and apologize. We're so sorry about her. What's there to apologize about? Aren't they here to borrow money or something? Just stay out of this, Mom. Oh, so it seems your mother isn't aware of how you two have been embezzling your company's money. Huh? What is she talking about? Well, why don't you listen to this audio that the old secretary recorded yourself? After she finished listening, Theo's mother started panicking too. Oh, what have you two done? It seems like the extent of their criminal behavior doesn't end there. I have a lot more proof. I'm actually the chief editor of the Gossip Times. I think this news is worthy of the front page, don't you think? That's right. My mother is the chief editor for a famous magazine and has an incredible investigative team at her disposal. Wait! Hold on! Please, can you not? What do you think, Allison? I don't know. Uh, well, we are poor people of small caliber after all, so I don't think I can forgive them. No, please, Allison, forgive us. I'll get married to you, okay? Huh? Uh, no thanks. The following week, all of the illegal activities that Theo and his father were taking part in were exposed in my mother's magazine. The news were quickly all over it too, and their stocks plummeted, and they quickly went out of business. Theo and his father were arrested and imprisoned. They became the talk of the town overnight. Theo's mother passed out from all of the complaints that she received every day and has been institutionalized. Serves them right. And as for us... Oh, Hawaii is so nice. Who do you think paid for your trip? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Mother. That article that she published sold millions, and she got an extra bonus. So, she took me on a vacation with her. Thanks, Mom. My name is Mari. I'm a 28-year-old office worker. I'm dating a coworker named Momota, who is the same age as me, and we're even considering marriage. Momota is loyal and capable, just the perfect guy. But I haven't introduced him to my parents yet. My parents are what you would call toxic parents. They treat me quite badly and love my younger sister, Louie. It was always the same thing. You're the older sister. Stop complaining. Let Louie have it. Louie was completely spoiled and would steal everything from me. When I was a college student, she even stole my boyfriend. Huh? Wait, Yota? Why are you with Louie? Oh, you haven't told her yet, Yota? Yeah, we're going out. I thought you already told her, Rui. Well, that's the deal. Sorry, Mari. What? 
So, just like that, I found out that Louie had stolen my boyfriend from me. Yeah, we thought about it, but my parents took her side. Well, if that's what Rui wants, just give them to her. Louie was just more attractive than you. Plain and simple. Just give it up and find yourself another guy. What kind of parents are you? Louie just kept escalating after that. She stole my purses, accessories, and even my perfume that I treasured. Why did you steal that? That's an important perfume that I bought with my first paycheck. Give it back! Oh, shut up. Stop making such a big deal out of it. Oh, if you want something that smells good, I have a good idea for you. Huh? What are you planning now? Here, this is perfect for you, sis. Hey! <gasps> Louie brought fabric softener from the laundry room and poured it on me without hesitation. It was so sticky and gross. The smell didn't go away for days and I had had enough. I got out of that house and started living alone and haven't gone home since. So you see why I haven't been able to introduce my boyfriend Momota to my parents, right? If you don't want to do it, I'm not going to force you to introduce me to your parents. But my parents were hoping to have a good relationship with your side of the family, and would love for your parents and sister to come to the wedding as well. Yeah, I understand. That's normal. Well, I don't want to cause you trouble, so I'll take you to meet them then. Sorry for being so hesitant about it. What about next weekend? You want to go then? Yeah, that'll be great. So I decided to bring Momota to my parents' house. To my relief, Louie wasn't there, and my parents were quite frank about it and gave us their blessings pretty easily. Yeah, do whatever you want, as long as you're not causing us any trouble. Make sure the venue is nearby. I don't want to have to drive far, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know. We haven't even decided if we're going to do a wedding yet or not anyways. Oh yeah? Well, you could just save us the trouble and not. By the way, golf is higher priority for me. So if I have golf that day, you can count me out. Fine. Momota was shocked at my parents' attitude, but he was glad that they were fine with us getting married at least. I was just glad that it was over and left the house with Momota. But things went south the moment we left the house. Oh, hey sis, long time no see. What are you doing back? Who's that? Dewey! We ran into Dewey who just got home. Who are you, Mr. Handsome? Is he your co-worker, sis? No, this is my boyfriend. We just stopped by to tell mom and dad that we're getting married. Seriously, you're getting married to this handsome guy? Why don't you introduce him to us earlier? You didn't have to be such a stranger. Hey, Mr. Handsome, forget my sister. Why don't I show you a good time? What? Are you seriously still doing that? Unbelievable. Come on, Momota, forget this girl. Hey, hold up, I'm free right now and so lonely! Come on, don't go! Uh, shut up! Stay away from me and my boyfriend! Goodbye! I grabbed Momota's arm, who stood there in awe and stomped off. You did warn me, but your sister, she is quite the character. She left such a big impression that I almost forgot about your parents. I'm so sorry about my family. Once we get married, let's keep our distance from them. I promise that they won't cause you or your family any trouble. I feel terrible already. No need to apologize, Mari. I was just caught off guard, that's all. And you don't have to worry about my parents either. I don't want them getting in the way either, so let's just focus on creating a happy family for ourselves. Momota, thank you. You're such a great guy. I was crying tears of joy as I held Momota tightly in my arms. So we proceeded with wedding preparations, but this happiness was short-lasted. Check this out, sis. Guess what this is? Why did you ask to meet all of a sudden? You said it was important. Wait, what? Louie called me on my cell phone and at work repeatedly, so I hesitantly came to meet her. On the tablet she handed me was a picture of her flirting with a guy in bed. <laughs> Sorry sis, your boyfriend's mine now. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not, look. Wanna see more pictures? This is our first date, and this is the first time we slept together, and... Why? Huh? Are you asking how we met? Well, Dad told me that your boyfriend was your co-worker, so I waited in front of the office, and he came out. When I approached him, he fell in love with me right away. He says that he wants to marry me, too. Too bad for you, sis. You were so close to getting married, too. But I guess I'm just too cute to resist. Anyways, good luck finding yourself another man. Louie laughed as she walked out of the coffee shop. 
I just sat there quietly for a while. I decided not to do anything about it and just continued on with my normal life. Momota was clueless about the conversation that I had with my sister, and when we would run into each other at the office, he smiled at me and helped me with my work as usual. And after work, we would walk home together. A month passed like that. Hey, what the hell is wrong with your boyfriend? All he talks about is money and steals money from my wallet. Today, he even tried to make me a joint guarantor for some loan. I can't believe you tried to set me up with a piece of trash like him. After she kept calling, I finally picked up and Louis started wailing on the other side of the phone. That's not my problem. You were the one who wanted him, right? He's all yours. Leave me out of it. What the hell? I thought he was a catch because you chose him. That's why I tried so hard to get him to like me. I should have never spent so much money on him. I don't want him. Take him back. No, thanks. I don't even know him. Huh? What are you saying? He's your boyfriend, right? You guys are getting married, right? Nope. Like I said, I have no clue who that guy is in the picture that you showed me. Who is that? He might have come out of the same building as my company, but he probably works at a different company on a different floor. He does kind of look like Momota, I guess, but Momota isn't a player like that, and he isn't that tan. What? It was pretty funny how shocked Louis sounded over the phone. I wanted to keep making fun of her, but I was also kind of scared at what she might do if I kept pressing her buttons, so I held myself back and just laughed inside. It's true. The guy that Louis said she stole from me was in fact a lookalike of Momota, but a completely different person. I noticed it the moment I saw the picture, actually. Louis looked so triumphant, so I chose not to tell her, and waited to see how it would play out, but it seems like she got herself in quite a mess. I found out later that the guy that Louis stole from me was working at the same real estate agency in the same building as the company, who was well known for his troubles with women. He would play girls and make them give him money. One of the older workers told me, that guy was really shady. Stay away from him. Well, that's what happens for trying to steal from me. Have you learned your lesson? <laughs> I don't need your pep talks. Just lend me some money. I borrowed money from the wrong people to show that guy a good time. <laughs> Uh-huh, is that so? But I thought he fell in love with you right away. I was just lying. I was paying for him. Please, you have to help me, sis! Not my problem. After I get married to Momota, he's getting transferred overseas, and I'll be going with him, so I don't think I'll ever see you again. Are you serious? Your adorable sister is in trouble. Why aren't you doing anything? Like I said, it's not my problem. If you need help, why don't you beg those parents of yours that love you so much? I already did, but when I told them it was $20,000, they just turned away and wouldn't even talk to me anymore. You're the only one I can count on. Please lend me some money. Never. I'm not lending you a dime, and I don't plan to ever see you again. This would have never happened if you hadn't tried to steal my man. You brought this upon yourself. It's called karma. Deal with it. <laughs> you cheapskate! You jerk! She was wailing and screaming, but I ignored her. Momota and I got married and moved overseas. I heard from my relatives that Louis borrowed money from shady people, and the interest built up pretty fast, and my father had no choice but to intervene. You drained my retirement money! Get a job and pay us back $2,000 a month! If not, we're kicking you out of this house! <sighs> Forgive me! I can't work that much! It seems like things are pretty crazy back at home, but I'm out here, so whatever. I live a happy life with Momota. No more toxic parents or toxic sister. Good riddance. I'm Alex. I'm in 8th grade. My family is super poor. Dad died when I was young, so it's just me and my mom. She works day and night to provide for me, but unfortunately, she doesn't make enough for the both of us. So after school, I work at this restaurant owned by my dad's old friend, but I can't let my school find out because we're not allowed to have part-time jobs at my school, and they'll make me quit if they find out. The owner says I should be playing with my friends, but if I can make some money and get free food, that's alright with me. So in junior high, I worked like crazy. Then one day... Welcome! Oh, you're students from the junior high school. How many? Two, please. Alright, let me clean up a table for you. Give me a second. Pasta? I don't usually eat pasta. Makes me fat. 
but this place is really famous. I've always wanted to come here. It's so close to school. But why did you have to bring me here, Allie? I don't want to eat alone. Plus, you're too spoiled, Lisa. You should learn more about the real world. I've had pasta before. Caviar pasta, I think. Exactly my point. Sucks to be poor. Alex! Do the dishes later. Can you clean up a table? Alright. Hey there! Oh. Crap! I think my classmates just saw me. And why them? Their names were Ali and Lisa. They were both jerks, especially Lisa. Her family was really rich. I heard her dad owned most of the land here. She was rich and pretty. Too bad she had a terrible personality. But her dad has connections everywhere, so everyone just smiles at her, no matter what she does. Ah, uh, that was good. Hey, did you see that guy? I think his name is Alex. He's in our class. Not as bad as I thought. I would just admit that you liked it. Alex, the nerd who always sits in the corner. I guess normal people food isn't all that bad. Working in junior high? He must be really poor or something. Poor kid. Wait, I thought you weren't allowed to have a part-time job in junior high. Yeah. Interesting. Can't wait to see him in class tomorrow. The next day. Hey, Alex. Hey, what were you doing at the restaurant yesterday? You got a part-time job or something? Why though? You need money or something? I just don't understand. And wait, I thought we weren't allowed to get part-time jobs. We're still in junior high. Please don't say anything. Oh, I don't know. Please, I need that job to support my family. Please, I'll do anything. Oh, you're poor? How sad. I guess not everyone can be like my dad, though. I know. Be our slave from now on. Slave? Yep, you'll do everything we tell you to. Sounds fun. Uh, um... What? Fine. I'll just tell the teacher then. Fine, fine. I'll do it. Don't speak unless spoken to. Got it, slave? Yes. <laughs> You're mean. It was living hell being their slave. Every day they made me run errands, and if I was late even for a minute, they punished me. Go buy me a drink. I'll give you three minutes. What? There aren't any stores around here. Go! Ah! Good luck. <sighs> here. You're late by five minutes. Take a knee right here. What should we do with him today? Well, he's poor, so I'll give him some of my drink. Like this. You're horrible. They did all kinds of mean stuff to me. Things were pretty tough for me. I hated going to school, but I had to take it to protect my family. Mom was working hard, too. That day, I walked home looking down. My clothes still smelled like juice. Then some guy I've never met talked to me. What's the matter, kid? You're all wet. It's not raining, is it? You're all sticky. You're being bullied at school? Leave me alone. I can't do that. My house is right there. You can use the shower if you want. Come on. He took me to his house. What is this place? Is this a boxing gym? Yup, I run this place. I used to be a champion too, I know. Why don't you try boxing? Can't. I don't have money for that. Yeah, you can pay me back later. Can I think about it? Whatever, just go wash that thing off. Thank you. Boxing? Will it help me become a stronger man? I know something has to change. I can't let those girls run my life like this. Maybe boxing is exactly what I need to change. But I had no money. I'm home. Hey. Can I talk to you? Yeah. Um, I want to try boxing. And, no, never mind. Forget it. Do it. But I have to work and... Don't worry about that. I just got a promotion. All my years of hard work finally paid off. It's still not a lot, but it's enough to provide for you. I'm so grateful for all your help over the years. But you don't need to work anymore. Go out there and do what you want. Oh, Mom. Thank you. The next day... Sir, I want to try boxing. Glad to hear that, kid. Let's get started, then. 
After that, all I did was box. I really enjoyed it too. The girls still bullied me, but junior high was over in no time. I went to a different high school than them, so that was that. Things were getting better, but I couldn't afford to go to college, so I decided to try and become a professional boxer after high school. Years later, when I turned 20, I got an invitation to a class reunion, so I decided to go. I don't think anyone remembers me, though. All these guys are so lame. They haven't changed a bit. I don't know why I came here. You're right. But you got a boyfriend, right? I heard he's ripped and handsome. Yeah, but I'm getting tired of him. I'm rich and cute, so I can marry whoever I want, so... <sighs> I still want to date other guys. Uh, okay. Who's that? <gasps> he's cute. Let's go see. Hey, Lisa, wait! <laughs> they haven't changed a bit. Lisa was still pretty, but she was still a big jerk. What the? Why is she coming towards me? Hello, have we met? I don't think I've seen you before. Were you in our class? Yeah. Really? Sorry, but I don't remember you. I'm so forgetful. Um... I like you. Wanna step out and grab a drink together? No thanks. What? You'll never get a chance like this again. Look at me. I know you're broke. Don't worry, I'll pay for you. I'm loaded. You might be pretty. But you have a terrible personality, so no. What? What did you say? I said you have a terrible personality. What? How dare you? What the hell is your problem? You might be cute, but you're not that cute! Are we done? Can you leave me alone now? What? You think you can just talk to me like that and get away with it? I'm calling my boyfriend. He's gonna kick your ass. Whatever. A few minutes later... You the guy harassing my girl? Uh, I didn't mean to, but... Adam, beat the shit out of him! Alright then, come on, asshole! He came charging at me, but there was no way he could hit me. I was a professional boxer. <sighs> what the hell? Hurry up and finish him! Alright! <sighs> Bam! Ah! I didn't actually hit him. I stopped my fist at the last second. But he flinched and fell on the ground. What am I doing? Ah! Why is he so strong? Wait, is he Alex? The world heavyweight champion? Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Come on, apologize. Why the hell would I? Just do it! Uh, I'm sorry? W wait, did you say you're a world champion? <gasps> That's amazing. Screw this guy! I want to be with you! I'll marry you if you want. My family is loaded so you don't have to worry about money either. How about it? Huh? I said no. You have a terrible personality. Remember me? It's me, Alex. I was your slave back in junior high. What? Oh no. Um, hey, wow! Uh, what the? I grabbed a glass nearby and poured the drink on her head. It was kind of immature, but her boyfriend tried to hit me, and she treated me like crap for years, so whatever. Then I left. Later, I heard Lisa's father got scammed and lost all his assets. Now Lisa had nothing. All her friends left her after her dad went broke. Her boyfriend left her too. The other day I saw her in the city. She was really skinny and looked exhausted. I kind of felt bad for a second, but who cares? She deserves it. As for me, I defended my title 10 times in a row. Today I'm retired. I started my own business using the money I made as a boxer. I'm doing quite well for myself. I got two beautiful children with my loving wife. My mom also lives with us. She's the reason I'm here. Life is good thanks to my loving family. And I'll do anything to protect them.